This playthrough is rated M for Mature. If someone asks if you're a god, you say yes! Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volomar here with the finale of God of War. In the last episode, we thought we got Pandora's box, but uh, Ares somehow made the perfect shot. 160, or 180 no scope us and uh, took us to the hell, but uh, well, we pretty easily went through it. Man, I didn't. I mean, all those people dying, I mean, why aren't you trying harder? Look at that. You're weak. I did it just fine. Look at me. Haha. -ha. Anyway, let's make our way to the top. Well then, that's convenient. I wonder who did that. Eh, best not to uh, think about it. Just uh, accept the help and let's get out of here. Sorry all you guys, I'm getting out of here. You can only die once in this world, and never again. Okay, that's a lie and we know it for those who've played the series before, but we'll just pretend that they weren't going to do that trope multiple times throughout the series when they made this game, but, you know. Well, hey. What do you know? Ah, Kratos. And not a moment too soon. I only finished digging just a moment ago. Who are you? Now that is an interesting question. But for now, you must hurry. Athens needs you. But how did you know I'm Athena isn't the only god keeping watch on you, Spartan? Complete your task, Kratos, and the gods will forgive your sins. Who was the Grave Digger, really? Well, if you uh, listen to his voice actor, you know who it is, so that's almost kind of a spoiler, but whatever. But anyway, now that we're back up to the front because of the uh, back up to reality, I did, who knew that all you, you could dig to hell? You know, Most people said you could dig to China, but uh, huh, what do I know, right? Anyway, let's uh, get all our health restored and everything, so yeah, there'll always be something there to ready to go. I don't think there's really anything else here. I mean, I don't even think there's any last minute red orbs. Or if you could actually go back to, uh. No. Nope. Not doing it. Alright. Well, that would have been funny if you could for some weird reason. So. Alright. Let's head inside. Time to stop Ares and, uh. And save Athens. Even though that's not really why we're doing it. We're doing it for our own selfishness. You know, because of what Ares did to us. You know tricked us into killing our own family and putting the ashes well actually he didn't do that some random lady I wonder if we end up killing her we never see her again I don't think she's referenced later on the game or later on the franchise so I don't know uh oh last minute cyclopses don't you hate when those guys up here no oh, almost missed it because <laughs> I wasn't paying attention <clears throat> Somehow these creatures that are supposed to be super tough are really easy to take down. Like, like they, they don't take much damage before you're like, oh, all right. But hey, if you hit anyone in the eye, it's gonna probably take them out because most people aren't aren't used to being blind, you know. Whoa. Oh, for some reason my uh, my Hercules strike didn't. No, there we go. All right, time to play ball, or whatever you want to call it. Ta-da! <clears throat> yeah, Minotaurs now. Yeah, we're having a basically kind of like la a last, like a last minute, like a, you know, uh, what's the word? Last fight, regular fighting regular enemies. Because at some point we'll won't have to worry about them for the rest of the game. So, okay then. Hmm. Can I grab you now? Okay. I don't know why you're not. Let me grab him. <clears throat> All right, I'm just gonna finish you off then, because the game doesn't want me to grab you. That's fine. I mean, I was all willing to grab you. I, I'm, I'm all for physical contact, but uh, nope. Uh-uh. Game didn't, 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 didn't accept it. Hmm. Seems the game seems to be glitching quite often today. There we go. <coughs> Just can't seem to get that uh, all the time. So, open sesame, dude. Just hope you don't swallow your teeth. There we go. It works when it wants to. That's awesome. 
<laughs> All right. <coughs> Anyone else? No. Good. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm waiting for you, Ares. I'm coming for you. I don't know how I'm going to get that up. Hey, the Gorgons. We haven't seen you in a hot minute. <coughs> and we almost wrecked you, like, almost immediately. <laughs> That's funny. The one time we see a Gorgon after, like, like quite a while, and then we just destroy her. All right, you can stop doing that now, ladies. I don't know. Might just to finish him off. <coughs> Mainly because I don't care so much for the magic. Because I wasn't using it. I could have used it, <coughs> but I didn't want it. Hmm. Annoying, I see. Alright, let's just summon them just to deal with them. I know it's a bit overkill, but whatever. Oh, hmm. Anything else around here? Nope. Do I want health or magic? Yeah, let's go with health. Totally better anyway. I mean, I probably would have spent as much with using uh, Zeus's uh, Fury. So either way, uh oh. Hey, oh, I. If I if I remembered that there was uh, Minotaurs I bad, I could have uh, you know did the magic instead. Because you know, oh well. Hey, I only I only barely play test this game before I record sometimes. So with a game like this, I want to keep myself kind of generally unknown to it to try and remember everything. So, but, oh well. Like I said I hardly use magic anyway. Not that it ain't good. It's just I keep forgetting to use it, and the game gives me plenty of times to utilize it. You think standing in a hallway with bows would be the most efficient thing ever? But nope. You died. All right, Ares. We've almost made it to the tip toppy tip top. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Remember this place where we found the uh, Oracle? Man, that was a while back. Well, so many episodes ago, but yes. But since we don't need to climb around, we can just go straight to it. I wonder what happened to her anyway. Hello, lady. Where'd you go? Oh, I thought that. I thought that said R two to do something else. There's Athena statue. So I was just seeing if there's any other random like little tidbits back here. That nope. Okay, just curious. Looks like there's blood in the water. It's probably from the fire up, uh, up top or whatever. So <coughs> all right, let's save in the final backup save of the game. Hopefully I won't have to redo this section too many times, so we'll see what happens. There she is! Ha ha! Kratos... return, but too late. Ares has taken Athens. There is no more hope. No hope. Oh, I was waiting for something to happen, like her dying. But, yep, she basically got killed. Yeah, some oracle you are. You're, like, the worst oracle ever, like, in, in mythology and, like, uh, uh, books and st media and everything like that. Like, usually most of them know what's going to happen in the future, or at least they give them clips of it. You basically just didn't know what was going to happen. <coughs> I mean, yeah, that would spoil the story if you told it, but still. Usually they go have good ways around that, but anyway. Kratos had traversed the desert of lost souls bested the deadly traps of Pandora's temple, and escaped Hades itself. There was but one task left. Zeus! Do you see now what your son can do? You cast your favor on Athena, but her city lies in ruins before me. And now, even Pandora's box is mine. Would you have me use it against Olympus itself? Kratos, returned even from the Underworld. Is this the best you can do, father? 
You send a broken mortal to defeat me, the god of war? After thousands of years, Pandora's box was finally open. The power of the gods unleashed. You are still just a mortal. Every bit as weak as the day you begged me to save your life. I am not the same man you found that day. The monster you've created has returned. To kill you. You have no idea what a true monster is, Kratos. Your final lesson is at hand. Prepare to join your family, Spartan. Wait, when did Ares get the ability of spiders? Like, seriously, what is this? But anyway, it's it's boss time against Ares himself, who we've been basically setting up for the whole game. So, uh, yeah, really the best attack really is utilizing uh, the Blades of Chaos and trying to do it from far away if you can. Uh, you could use the uh, the um, you know Army of Hades and stuff like that, which could help. But yeah, I just gotta keep out of his basic range because he's got I mean not that he's terrible at range it's just you know he has that like hammer ability so I have to be careful luckily he uh, when we hit him so many times he uh, drops magic and stuff like that so Whoop. I mean I could block his attacks too I just find it easier to uh... yeah I keep trying to do the Hercules strike or whatever you want to call it ah Oop. Because it's a pretty effective attack on him. Man, who knew uh, Ares would be so easy? What do those spider arms even do for you, dude? Ah. Uh oh. No. Ouch. Even though that was... Ow! Ah. Yeah, this is why you want to try to do basic uh, light attacks. Because uh, you can try to hit him from far away. Yeah, I'm getting uh, kind of getting creamed with his uh, abilities, but... I will uh, dodge soon enough. Oh well. You can't block. That's not fair. No. Um, ooh. I have to start using magic just to get a little extra damage on him. I could use a. Uh, might switch to the uh, um, Poseidon's Rage. Ow. Actually, let's go and do that. Yeah, that's what happens when you get maximum. You spin, spin, spin to win, basically, baby. Ooh. Nah. <laughs> Stay away from me from your spider arms of doom. You can't get me with those things. Yeah, he's got a decent amount of HP, as you can see there. So, I mean, he is the final boss, so of course he would uh, be a bit of a challenge. I don't know, I seem to be doing okay. I mean, not great, but okay. Uh-oh. 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 Nope. <coughs> He's throwing meteorites at me. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Well, I mean, you did what you did. You, you know, manipulated me. You know, tricked me into killing my family. So, I don't know, man. I, I think there's a lot of things to resist you about. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. But don't call me lazy, though. Or maybe... Oops. I think I got a... I'm trying to get a little extra damage out of him. But... This is why I want to use... Uh, I mean, the Army of the Dead is good, too. It's just... I can do a bunch of uh, Poseidon's Rage on him. Ooh. Getting pretty... Hmm. I want to save my... Um, uh, my uh, Rage of the Gods, because, uh, you know, for those who are aware of how this game works... Ow! Oof. Man, I am getting... Uh-oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm going to try to... Nah, dang it. Oh, I got some uh, healing. I just realized that. Well, I mean, true, but now we have the story, the, the power of Pandora, or whatever you want to call it. Ah, I got him. All right. Oh, right. Ow. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot I have to keep pressing circle on him, so. Ow. Yeah, unfortunately, since I messed up on the circle part there, I have to redo that again, so that's really annoying. I forgot I have to press circle during that section. Yeah, back up, man. Okay. Let's try to get that off of him. Oh, oh dang it. Oh, I hate when that happens. Because I uh, kept pressing circle, I... Uh, okay, try it again. Okay, when I back up, I, when I jump on him. Okay, there we go. Just gotta be careful. There we go. undo the deeds of the past. The nightmares that had haunted Kratos for the past ten years had now taken form and substance. His past stood before him. you can put in my way to stop me. I will save my family. Alright, be prepared for one of the more annoying parts in the whole game. And the reason it's annoying is not so much on easy or normal mode, but if you're playing on god mode to try and get like, you know, and like get the best like, well I wouldn't say ending or anything like that, just like, you know, trying to test yourself or whatever, um, then this, this battle is really annoying because of that. Because, uh, <laughs> Because it's like really hard to protect your family. Basically, what you have to do is you have to protect your family and make sure that they don't die. And uh, they take damage while you're uh, uh, while you're away from them. And how you uh, heal them? Because you can't heal them. You have to hug your family, aw, and transfer your life to them. So you'll take damage while you do that. But uh, but yeah, on uh, easy mode and Sparta mode or whatever, it's not too bad. But on um. Uh, on God mode and stuff like that is ridiculous to do this one. Like, because of how easy it is for your family to get killed and stuff like that. Now, I've heard, again, I've heard in the, um... And I'm also trying to save my, uh... The... Uh, power of the gods for, you know, just in case. I want to try and build up my, my, um... Uh, my magic for later on. Oops. Oh. <coughs> yeah, they can... Yeah, you can actually fall off, so be careful. And this part lasts quite a while. It's, like, super annoying. <laughs> That's why this one's, uh... Yeah, there's, a uh, There's some cheap tricks you can get to these guys. If you know what you're doing, you can kind of get some free kills on them, but you have to be careful, because, you know, as you can see there... 
And sometimes you just can't like uh, stop them from doing that. You know what I mean? So I need to I need to clear five seconds to uh, uh there's the uh, the uh, bolt throwers. Yeah, here they come. Ah, man. Uh, I need a yeah. See, I might have to use my magic just to get them off for a second, so I can give them some magic. Oh no, I didn't grab him. There we go. Sometimes you can get lucky with these guys, and they'll go after you instead of uh, the family. But they're they're mainly supposed to target you know you. I mean, lucky that they do insta-get get to kill while you do this, but it's not a permanent solution, as you can see there. And see, I can almost die here, too, so there's that. So. There's actually a weird trick for this fight that... <clears throat> that uh, apparently speedrunners can... Uh, I don't know how to do actually do it myself, but apparently there's a trick to get, like, infinite life during this... Or infinite life infinite magic during this fight um it has something to do with like where you're standing and what you're doing before this whole event occurs and basically what it is is the ai or the programming thinks you're in like a pre-area um i forgot what it's actually called but basically um ah dang it um yeah the game the game thinks you're like in a a free area or something like that so it uh um, man, I am not getting much magic for this one. I wish I had a bit more magic before this part. Oof. And unfortunately, I'm not getting much in the way of... Uh... Oof. No. No. Oh, crap. <laughs> unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, I'm almost dead, so I might have to use the power of the gods. I really don't want to, mainly because of the... Uh... I've done the impossible. He had saved his family. Kratos, please take us home. Do you see, God of War? You took them once, but you'll never have them again. You cannot save them, Kratos. You gave them up in your quest for ultimate power. There is a price to pay for everything you gain. Not that price. I didn't want them to die. No price is too high for what I offered. And you rejected me. A god! Now, you will have no power. No magic! All that is left for you is death! Oh, not... Not again. You should have joined me, Kratos. You should have been stronger. By the gods. The battle was not over. The gods, it seemed, had a final gift for Kratos. I still have allies in Olympus, Ares. Now... You will see how strong I am. Let's see how strong he is for final boss time against uh, Ares himself. And yeah, the, the spirit or blade of Olympus or whatever you want to call it really sucks. Like, it is bad. I mean, if you can get lucky with some uh, circle combos, yeah, none of the other combos in the game are really worth it. I would suggest just sticking with the circle combo if you can. This game, yeah, I do not like this fight, by the way. This fight sucks. Um, and I... Yeah, I'm really bad about this fight. Like, just the way it works. I'm so used to the Blades of Chaos that... Yeah, see? I don't know, I mean... <laughs> funny how I survived the, the family death scene, and I beat that the first time, but yeah, I don't know how many times I'm going to be doing this this section. We'll see what happens, though. Uh-oh. <clears throat> yeah, good start, man. Good start. Oh, man. 
Yeah, it's it's not a good it's not a good start, right, at all. Oh man, he broke right through that. Look at that. Like <laughs> it is like insane like how like I think I remember first time I played this, it took me like I swear it took me like a ton of tries to, to finally beat Ares. You just gotta just gotta like block when I need to, you know, but uh, sometimes that doesn't work, you know. Ah oh, man, come on. No, I didn't mean to actually do that ability. The basic combo is the better one, I think personally. I was hoping to get out of his range. And the way to beat him is basically, other than hitting him, as you can see, my uh, life goes up when I when I do damage to him. It's kind of like a, I don't know what, what you'd like to call it, like a Mortal Kombat situation or something. How'd that hit me? I, was, I wasn't even in the range. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't know how many times it's going to take me to do this fight. Quite a few, I assume. Ooh, man, come on. Oh, this this fight sucks. I really don't like this fight. This is actually one of the worst fights in the game. Yeah, I'm dead again. Uh, we'll see. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. There we go. All right, I'll try a couple more times, but after a point, I'll probably do a, like a, just a clean run of, of Ares. Because there's two sections to this fight, by the way. Oh. Yeah, come on. <coughs> Ah, yay, we got a... Nice! Alright, we got something. We got it. Maybe. There we go. Ah, oh. oh, man, see? And if he gets a good shot on you, he, uh, he immediately gets his uh, HP back, so... So there's really no like, like if you don't if you don't hit him properly enough. Look at that! Look, he got all his HP back. <laughs> like it's it's stupid, and I can't use any magic on him either. I think they could have polished this fight a little bit better. I don't know. Oh man, this this really blows. I I like I thought I had it for a second, and then boom. He takes all my HP away. It only takes us a couple good shots from him, and you're done. You know, it's one of those fights you really have to learn how to block, like, like block well or whatever. Man, too bad I didn't get that one ability again. Oh, that ability—that sucks too. Oh, and then when he blocks you, and sometimes the. Uh, his spider arms go through the attack, go through your block, you know. Oh. Yeah, I'm probably going to get uh, annoyed through most of this fight, to tell you the truth. Might even stop talking a bit just to try and focus. See, I blocked and he still hit me, even though you're supposed to be able to block it, so. Man, how many times am I going to die to this? I'm probably going to die like 20 times or something like that. Whoops. I didn't put it in easy mode, did I? I hope not. I didn't want to. I just I was just pressing the button to get through it. Dang it. I think it put I think it set me to easy mode. Dang it. I didn't mean to do that. I mean I could technically checkpoint it, um, and redo it again, but at this point I'm not I'm not that annoyed, to tell you the truth. But I but yeah, it's kind of annoying how uh, it immediately, like, because uh, yeah, I was just trying to like get past this part. I mean, he's a little easier now that I'm on easy mode. But am I still really getting beaten on beaten on easy mode? Wow. Oh man, even on easy mode, man. Yep, there you go again. Yeah, I think it set me to easy mode, because uh, what happened is that if you die too many times in this game, it'll do, uh, hey, you want to change your difficulty setting, and I think yes is automatic. So, unfortunately, we're now on easy mode at this point. 
Well, it's not like I was trying to be. I was. Well, I was trying to beat this on normal, but. But I guess not. Yeah, it kind of blows. I was hoping not to have that happen. But. Oh well. There we go. Remember, Kratos. It was I who saved you in your time of greatest need. I haven't forgotten, Ares. I remember how you saved me. That night. I was trying to make you a great warrior. You succeeded. <laughs> Kratos had done me impossible. A mortal defeating a god. Ares was no more. The city had been saved and would thrive again. The same could not be said for Kratos, for as he sought to rebuild his soul with the help of the gods, the truth was revealed to him. Athena, rid me of the memories that haunt me still. You have done well, Kratos. Though we mourn the death of our brother, the gods are indebted to you. We promised your sins would be forgiven, and so they are, but we never promised to take away your nightmares. No man, no god could ever forget the terrible deeds you have done. In the end, knowing the visions of his past would never leave him, Kratos made his way to the bluffs overlooking the Aegean Sea. The gods of Olympus have abandoned me. Now there is no hope. And Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. After ten years of suffering, ten years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Death would be his escape from madness. The fate of Kratos was not as it seemed. The gods had other plans. Born aloft like a feather, Kratos found himself risen from the sea and placed on solid earth. You will not die this day, Kratos. The gods cannot allow one who has performed such service to perish by his own hand. Ares' tactics were brutal. His path of destruction had to be stopped. But now there is an empty throne in Olympus, and a new god of war is needed. Take these stairs, Kratos. They lead to your ultimate reward. Yeah, ultimate reward, but we don't, uh... <clears throat> we don't get our nightmares taken care of, but okay. Anyway, we get the Athena's Blade, so yeah, it's just a upgraded Blades of Chaos, story implications. Yeah, there's the Sword of Olympus right there. While your demons still haunt you, the gods have decreed you will not die this day. Hmm. Yeah, I wish I had been able to beat him on normal mode. I didn't mean to start, like, normal or easy difficulty, but I just kind of pressed the button so fast, so oh well. Your battles are at an end, Kratos. Your journey is over. Take these steps to Olympus and your place among the gods. And thus we become, well, obviously, the god of war and roll credits. So see you, see you then, folks.
You gaze upon the bones of your defeated foe. You're finally free of your servitude to this insane war god. This is the throne of the god of war. Take your rightful place upon it. And from that point forward, throughout the rest of time, Whenever men rode forth to battle for good cause or for evil, they did so under the watchful eye of the man who had defeated a god. They were driven forward by Kratos, the mortal who had become the new god of war. Yeah, after you beat the game, you unlock God Mode, which is the hardest difficulty in the game, and oh boy, no, 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 I am not doing such a thing. Nope, nope, nope. You can't make me. Not gonna do it. Uh-uh. Especially with how difficult it is at that final bit of the game with Ares and uh, and the family part, and yeah, those are really the, the most dangerous parts are the end of the game on God Mode. I am not doing that. I mean, you unlock some stuff with doing that, like videos and stuff like that, but I'm not doing that. I'm not that good at it, so... But anyway, that's it for God of War. You become the God of War, and yeah, you could tell that they kind of almost made it kind of like a single game. Like, nope, no more games in the series, but well, obviously we know better now today. But thank you, David Jaffe, despite how crazy you are these days. I appreciate, at the time, making this game and putting all the effort you and your team. It's a fun action game, you know, great music. Um, yeah, it was a bit repetitious in some of the combat, but I think it flowed just fast enough. You got just en enough new abilities, new locations that, uh, oh, I didn't know Kari Borlaug Barlog worked on this game. He's the guy who directed the the Norse version of the game, so he was an animator on this. So, huh? I see. Uh, I see a guy who'd worked on the game previously. I uh, got a chance to, you know, do his own thing. So, huh? Interesting. But anyway, um, but yeah, everything about this game brought forth like uh, rejuvenated the action series that and Devil May Cry. So for a long time, like people were copying what God of War did to some success and some not success. I think Devil May Cry technically came out before this or around the same time. Uh, but I think that technically was first. But anyway, but yeah, a lot of games uh, during the PS2 era and PS3 era, like a Heavenly Sword for PS3, try to copy this, and um, some of them were good, and then some kind of like were kind of flat. And unfortunately, this game kind of brought the QTE fad to to a head uh, because of the way they did the button prompts and everything like that. Like a lot of games after this copied the QTE fad, and I hate the QTE. I hate QTEs. They're just ugh, they're they're one of the most annoying things in video games ever. Uh, if you've been watching any of my videos over the course of the years, like you can tell, I someone called themselves Scat. Um, you can tell I hate it, but I this game it's fine. It's not the worst. I mean, there were some times where I took some damage because I was pressing it too fast and everything like that. And, oh yeah, thank you TC Carson for doing Kratos. Too bad he didn't come back. Uh, yep, Steve Bloom is uh, or Blum, however you pronounce those Aries. Uh, Claudia Black, Black was Artemis, huh? Oh yep, Rob Paulson, I guessed him. So yeah, Claudia Black. Oh man, she's got a great voice. Um, yeah, if I ever do Dragon Age Origins, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what else to say about this game. This game, like I said, is great. And, yeah, the later games of the series definitely improve upon this game better and are more polished than this. Because this one has some glitches, you know, with the circle button not working on some enemies. Uh, the, the the fight with Ares is really annoying, even on the easy mode. I died. I'll, obviously, I'm not that good at these types of games, but you can goes to show that... You know, that people, regular people, would have a tough time on it. I don't even think they made it easier in the remasters, or not remasters, like the re releases on, like, I think it was like the PS3 or PS4 version or something like that. But despite all that, this game was fantastic. Like I said, a uh, good solid story, you know, man, just getting revenge for, for it being tricked, you know, and trying to. And you think Kratos is just a super pissed off guy, and he is, but there was more to him, you know, his family and everything with that honor. And he just wanted to get back at Ares for what he did to him. And he. He, he went to hell and back to basically defeat Ares, and in the end, he becomes the god of war. But uh, how does uh, Kratos do to do as the god of war? Well, you have to play uh, God of War two to find out, and then God of War three, and then God of War uh, God of War twenty eighteen, I think, and uh, then Ragnarok, which just came out. Well, actually, came out a while back. But yeah, Kratos will return to God of War two.
And that's it for God of War. So I hope you enjoyed my quick run of this. I know it wasn't the most efficient. I probably didn't find all the secrets of the game, but I found a good deal of them. And I did max out my magic and HP, which you can do because there's extras of the unlockable items throughout the game just in case you miss a couple. But I got most of them, I think, except for like maybe a handful. And I always maxed out a lot of my abilities. I didn't max out like the uh, Blade of Ares cause, or Artemis because you only have one more level for that and the final level of uh, the uh, uh, Gorgon ability, the Medusa ability. So, But anyway, yeah, I had fun going through this all over again. A little bit stressful, especially at the end, but still a fun game. Maybe in the future I'll do God of War 2, but I still need to play Ragnarok by this point because everyone says it's awesome and I do want to play it, but that'll be for another day. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next game.